My name is Dylan McConus. I'm from Seattle originally, so just up I-5. I made a very arduous trip down two hours from where I originally came from after four years on the East Coast. And I've been in Portland since 2005, July of 2005. I graduated from college and uh, immediately came back to the Pacific Northwest. My first big comics work was uh, currently still a webcomic called Bite Me, which was a screwball comedy about vampires in the French Revolution. So very marketable, uh, yeah. And now I currently work on a graphic novel called Family Man, which is also set in the 18th century. And in between, I've, I've done some other comics too. The fact of the matter is that comics requires sitting in a room for a very long time doing small, repetitive motions underneath a lamp. And if it's beautiful outside, or if there's the possibility of exciting winter sports, it, you just you tend to get distracted. Uh, whereas, you know, in the winter time, it's dark outside, the weather sucks, it's not even sucky in an interesting way. It really does make you feel like, you know what, sitting here in this small room with my light on making small repetitive motions sounds like a good idea. So it, it really is kind of a reclusive medium in its way. You can sit in a room with other people doing the same thing, but ultimately the fewer distractions from the outside world the better, and Portland in winter is definitely hibernation mode. I get a lot less done in the summertime here. <laughs> the brief, beautiful summertime. There's the stereotype of everybody in Portland does at least three things. You know, you have your day job, and then you have your side passion, and then you have all the things you volunteer for, or all the things that you serve on the board of, or that you go to on Saturday nights. So everybody is very multiply involved. I've, I've met very few people who just have their one thing and ride it to the end of the rails. And that's really cool. Everybody has multiple things to offer, and every time I think I've found somebody normal, I find out how horribly wrong I am. Everybody likes things to be carefully crafted. Everybody likes to have thought go into everything, whether that's corn chips or, or works of literature uh, or your beer. And that's, that's pretty neat that individual inventiveness and attention to small details of life is very, it's very intense. So I suppose sort of European in a way. Portland really does remind me of some parts of France in its focus on making life good. Whenever anybody asks what there is to do in Portland, the automatic first response is go to the bookstore. I think Pals is representative of a larger cultural value in Portland where it's, uh, it's very much like a curated experience where you have people selecting these wonderful things that they think are really exciting, that they present to you, they bring authors in to speak about it, it's in the middle of the city, they have coffee. Uh, so when I think about that particular intersection on 10th and Burnside, where you have the living room theaters and you have Powell's and the cafe inside of it, it just, it seems very quintessential to me. With the streetcar running through, uh, the used clothing stores, I think if I left it would have to be, I think it would be temporary, honestly, because I, I like so much of what's established in Portland already that I could see leaving to be a very beneficial experience, but ultimately I think I'd want to come back my family's three hours away. I have so much community here. It's really wonderful to have dinner on Friday night and have five people go, that last page you did was interesting, but I feel you could have pushed the composition a little farther, or I'm really intrigued to see where you're going with this plot line. I really dislike the cultural attitude in the Pacific Northwest, so it's pretty ideal. <laughs>